And we also have things added to the audio side of the world. So if I go to my audio mixer, you now can go in and change the clip gain of audio to go above 12 dB. I know, right? <laughs> I actually had somebody come up to me at a trade show recently. He's like, the best thing about the new software is I can go higher than 12 dB for audio. Now, it's very important to note here that the slider, fader, slider, I'm not an audio person, fader, <laughs> only goes up to 12, and this is by design. So if I click on the value down here and type in 25, you'll see that you can actually type in values higher. That's because we don't want everyone to keep moving the fader up, making it really high and blowing out you know, your ears or anything. We want to have that to be a more conscious level change to the audio. And also you'll see that it changes to a very bright yellow so you know that it's instantly higher than 12 dB as well. <laughs> right? Can everyone see that? Um, so again, another nice feature, and that's not just in the mixer also. You'll see if you go and add in the audio, there's a lot of sound design here in this sequence, which is really great. If you turn on clip gain on your tracks, You can come in here and type in to be higher than 12 dB as well. So again, some nice functions. If you didn't know this also, and again, little tips and tricks I like to talk about every now and then, the fast menu in the audio mixer, you can now map any of these functions to a key. So things like, you know, removing clip gain, adjusting clip gain, setting pan, map it to a key. All right, let's get into some other, uh, oh, the multi-mix. We uh, introduced in 2022.12, being able to export a Pro Tools session. Is that me? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> um, a Pro Tools session from Media Composer Ultimate and Media Composer Enterprise. Nice. And uh, Christopher actually has it working over on the Pro Tools side as well there. But what I can show you is, if you go to export, you'll see that the options now provide the ability to choose a Pro Tools session directly from Avid Media Composer. And it actually creates a .ptx file with video and audio in one. Nice. Yeah. So what you'll see here is, you know, you have your Pro Tools session, you have two tabs for video details and audio details, but what's really cool also is markers. Because if you have markers in your sequence, these markers will be seen in Pro Tools. You will have them, you could actually, you know, if you color code them, you can actually choose which markers you want to have built into the PTX file. You'll see here for video, we can export a video mix down. We can link to audio. If you're on Nexus and you have Pro Tools and Media Composer on the same setup, you could just link to the media. You don't have to do an export. Or you can pack and go. You can consolidate it. But I'm going to say just do a video mix down. You can choose MOV or MXF, DNX, DNXHR, Apple ProRes, if you didn't know this. In recent versions of Media Composer on APC, you can export ProRes media. Okay, choose your uh, compression, choose your raster size, and on the audio side, again, copy, link, or consolidate. If you do have media that's already been created from a previous sequence, there is a button that says ask to exclude audio media from the previous sequence. So it's not duplicating media every time you do a Pro Tools session export. Plus we've added being able to do a multi-mix. If anybody has seen this before, the multi-mix tool in Media Composer was added years ago, but that was only for mix downs. The idea of the multi-mix is you can actually set up multiple mixes of your audio, so you're not having to do multiple passes one after the other. I need two stereo pairs of this and a 5.1 of this. Build it into the single multi-mix window. You can say, I wanna add, I want these, to be 
a 5.1, adding that, saving it. And now this mix is actually put into the Pro Tools session as well. So the PTX file is created. You double click on that or you open it up in Pro Tools. All of the tracks come in. You get a video track in Pro Tools with the mix down clip. You get a cut track. Even though it's a single clip of video, the cut track in Pro Tools will take you to every cut in the sequence for reference automatically. Ah. <laughs> and you also get a uh, rendered folder track, an unrendered folder track, and a rendered only folder track of audio. So audio suite plugins, key framing, audio ducking, all of that stuff is brought over into the Pro Tools session. And we're working on full round trip where the PT, uh -huh, uh -huh. that was your question? Being able to go back and take the PTX file from Pro Tools and open it back up in Media Composer. So hopefully we'll see that soon.